Hey everyone, I'm Stefan Bajifo, Developer Advocate here at Milbus. And today I'm here to talk to you about MCP from Anthropic. So MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and it's basically a new way to make your LLM work and talk uh, with different contexts and different tools. But you can see it as the USB-C now of the LLMs, because the problem is LLMs are very good at talking about things, but they're in their own world. Like they can talk to you about the weather and say that the weather is good, but natively they cannot check it actually. So what you do is that you introduce function calling and the idea behind MCP. And if we have a look here at the documentation, so it's model context protocol.io, then, you know, we can see why do we need MCP and why is it useful? It really helps you as they write here, it really helps you build agents and complex workflows on top of LM so that you can have talk with different data and different tools. And the general architecture, which is why is it so nice, is that you have an MCP client. So think of like cloud desktop or cursor or different tools. And then you're going to use the MCP protocol to then talk to the different server. So in our case, we're going to have cloud desktop talk directly with Milvis. And for having access to it, you can have directly on github.com slash milvis-io. This is where we'll have the MCP server directly. And then once you arrive, you're going to see this, like talking about how to actually deploy it, how to use it. And so read the readme properly so you can use it with cloud desktop, or you can also use it with cursor directly. But let me show you quickly how it works. So now I'm in cloud desktop and we can see here, I have my MCP server installed from Milbus directly. And we can also see the different tools that are available here. So here we can see, okay, from the server Milvus, we have some bulk insert, but we can also like get information about different collections. We can do like a lot of different things. And I'm just going to show you some demos, run some queries, and then you can have a better idea. So for example, I'm like, what are the collections in my Milvus DB? And now Cloud should know, oh, I have to call the MCP protocol. So that's why now it's asking me to allow the tools. It's going to do that for a lot of different tools. So I'm just going to allow it. But you can see it's running a specific function for the Milvis database that was running locally. And now it found that I have eight different collections. Okay, cool. Maybe I'm like, I don't know. Can you describe to me the demo collection? And now it should actually be able to describe it. So we're going to allow it. Okay. And now, you know, now it's actually telling you, oh, okay, this is general information. So auto ID is enabled. There's one shard, one partition. Here are the fields. Here are the functions that are defined as well on it. And this makes it very useful for you to actually being able to understand your Milvus collection and Milvus database. But you can also actually ask queries about it directly. So for example, Milvis 2.5 released full text search, meaning that we like handle everything for you to run a query directly. So in my demo collection, what I have is that I actually, as we've seen here, I have BM25 as a function, which allows me to input text directly. So in the demo collection, I've inserted things about information retrieval. So what we're going to do now is actually run the query. We're running full text search directly, and then it should give us like some results. And then we can get those results back and then show them directly to the user. So that can be extremely useful. And yeah, now we can see, okay, we searched directly in the demo collection. Here is what it found out about. And it's like, it's fairly basic, but I had just inserted some basic document. But this is to show you the power of using MCP with Milvus. You can have a look directly on the website as well, where we're writing a blog post. So milvus.io or zillis.com. And then the code is also available directly. So yeah. Thank you. That was Stefan.